Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So today you guys, I thought I'll come on here and share with you some different interior styling ideas for how to style your credenza. So we're in my dining room area and then this is my credenza here. This is how I currently have it set up. But I thought it'd be fun to come on here and just share with you some different looks that you can create too. Really simple, really easy that you'll be able to do for your own credenza. So before we get started, this portion of the video is sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people like you and me. They have an array of classes to choose from to help you be inspired and help you to perfect your craft. So I love Skillshare because it's an online learning community. The classes are small and they are taught by real instructors and they have real life projects for you to get involved in. So I really love that. And not only that, it's very affordable. It's only like $10 a so month. Skillshare offers a large variety of online classes that you can do. The class that I ended up taking was called Everyday Flowers, Express Your Creativity with Spencer Falls. He is a phenomenal florist and he teaches you how to create beautiful floral arrangements. So I thought this class was really up my alley because even though he's using natural and real flowers in his uh, floral arrangement and centerpieces, you can still use the same concepts for creating beautiful flow floral arrangements as well. So I really enjoyed this class because y'all know I love decorating with flowers, especially floral uh, floral picks and creating beautiful centerpieces so I really wanted to learn some different ways to put together some nice arrangements especially because I'm getting ready to work on my patio area outside for the spring so I definitely wanted to learn how to create some different floral arrangements for that so this class was super simple and easy to do it was less than an hour long and he just provided some really good techniques for creating beautiful floral arrangements so like I said, Skillshare is super affordable. They have monthly plans starting at $10 a month. But the first 1,000 people that click my link in the description box will get a free premium membership of Skillshare. And thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. So, okay, you guys, so let's get into the video. So, like I said, I'm in my dining room area. So this is my credenza here. So I decided to just create some different vignettes and show you guys ways that you can style your buffet or credenza area. So before I get started decorating my credenza, I always like to start with some type of anchor piece. And usually the anchor piece is something that's going to be placed on the wall in the middle to kind of tie it the whole look together so it could be a large mirror it could be a large piece of art like i have here and then i also added two large lamps to kind of add some symmetry so for this video i'm just going to be creating some small vignettes to kind of fill in that middle space there so for the first vignettes, I'm going to be using a decorative tray. Decorative trays are a really good way to decorate your space and kind of corral everything together. They're no longer just used to serve drinks and stuff like that. You can definitely use it to add some home decor. So I'm going to be using this decorative acrylic tray, which I think it kind of ties in the acrylic that's in the lamps. And then I'm going to add in some coffee table books. And then I'm also going to add in these acrylic candle holders that I got from Home Goods. So when you're decorating and when you're creating vignettes, you always want to keep in mind to decorate in the principle of like odd numbers. So I try to decorate in threes or ones or fives, things like that. Just the odd numbers kind of seem to look the best. But I mean, these are not like end all be all. You can definitely bend the rules. But for this look, I'm definitely going to be using the principle of three. So my acrylic tray is one. The coffee, the stack of coffee table books are two. And then the candle holders are three. If that makes sense and then next i'm going to add in some floral arrangements i always like to add in some flowers whether it's real or faux because it just brings a lot of brightness to the space i always think you have to have something that kind of brightens up the space so i always try to add some type of floral arrangement so i have this arrangement that i created in a previous video that i shared with you all those are some faux tulips that i got from amazon and then a vase i believe i got from michael's and then this completes the first look So for the next look, I'm going to be decorating with one item. So I'm going to be using this large boat like vase that I got from Z Gallery. I absolutely love this vase because it's unique and I thought 
this would be a perfect vase for long like dining room tables or long credenzas like this where you need to fill in the space and you don't want to have to put a bunch of little things on there you can definitely put one large statement piece like this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these white tulips and i'm just going to kind of place them to one side of the vase and i kind of want them to kind of sit in there as if you were carrying a basket but they're just kind of like anchored to like one side Okay, for the third look, I'm going to be combining two vases together. So I have a medium vase there, and then I got a smaller vase, and then I have a marble tray. So the tray is one, and then the two vases are two and three. So that's my three elements there. And then those white tulips, like I said, I got those from Amazon. The vase, that medium one came from the at-home store. The small one came from Burlington Co. Factory. And then to the left, I'm just going to add a decorative bowl with some of those blingy uh, spear balls and then that bowl came from home goods and then the spear balls came from the at home store So now for this next look, this is one of those times where I say that you, the rules are not the end all be all. You definitely have to play around with decor and try to get the look that you desire. So you definitely have to play around with it. So in this look, as you see, I'm decorating with four items. So I have my ginger jar here. I got that from Home Goods, and I have those floral picks that I got from Michaels. And then I have it sitting on top of a coffee table book there. And then I also have two hurricane candles to the right side. So I like the way this look, this uh, style looks. And then like I said, this is using four elements instead of using a three, but it, nonetheless, it still looks good as well. Okay, you guys, I'm going to share a few more decorating ideas with you all. Let me know down in the comments below which style you like the best. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and become part of our decorating family here. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.